Hey guys, Danny here. I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back. Today, I want to talk to you about Lightroom Profiles versus Lightroom Presets. Now, most people think that Lightroom Profiles are just Lightroom Presets in a new interface with opacity control and that was it. But I've been working on Lightroom Profiles for the past few months and I can tell you that they are way better than Lightroom Presets. In this video, you're going to learn the differences between Lightroom Profiles and Presets and why Lightroom Profiles will be the future of color grading in Lightroom. You can find Lightroom Profiles in the Profile section. It comes in a new interface with thumbnail previews. And I like this thumbnail preview because it shows you how it looks without having to hover over each one. There's also opacity support. In the past with Lightroom presets, you had to install third-party plugins. This is now built into a profile browser, and you can change the opacity from 0 to 200%. The standard Lightroom workflow is to fix your photo and then color grade it afterwards. Lightroom presets ruin your workflow by overriding your develop settings. So let's say you had a catalog with 500 photos, you fixed the white balance, you fixed the exposure, you did some tweaks to the shadows and highlights, and then when it's time for you to apply a preset, you realize that it overrides all of your settings. And many low quality presets will override your exposure and white balance settings, two settings that should never be touched. But as you know, in the Lightroom preset world, price does not determine quality. So you never know what you get until you actually try using it. Lightroom Profile solved this by separating the color grading from your develop settings. It doesn't touch your develop settings, so you don't have to worry about redoing all of your retouching. The downside is that you can't edit the Lightroom Profile settings. This is because they're not always created using Lightroom's Develop settings. We'll talk more about this later. Lightroom presets are slow. Speed is a huge issue for Lightroom, and the most significant speed issue is in the Develop settings. Most Lightroom presets use a lot of develop settings. Every setting is another calculation that makes rendering slower. But Lightroom profiles are super fast. They use more efficient files called LUTs. They stand for lookup tables. LUTs work by remapping colors instead of giving math equations. When you have 20 adjustments, the calculations and processing time stack up. Speed is even more critical when you're using Lightroom on your phone. Lightroom profiles will render fast even on an old phone. Lightroom profiles are fast, they reduce CPU usage, and save battery life. But with that said, the speed boost only works on profiles created with LUTs. Lightroom profiles created using traditional develop settings will be just as slow as Lightroom presets. Okay, let's talk about my favorite thing about Lightroom Profiles. That is that you are no longer restrained to Lightroom's developed settings. You can create the color grading in other software like Photoshop and then use it in Lightroom. For example, you can create a Lightroom preset that desaturates the greens. But if you want something more advanced, like you only want it to affect the midtones, you can't do that. You have to use a Lightroom Profile. There's a lot more you can do with Lightroom Profiles, and here are some examples. Now just a note, I created a lot of these effects using non-Adobe software and my own custom scripts. But I just want to show you the potential of what you can achieve with Lightroom Profiles.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Now there's not a lot of hype with Lightroom profiles, and you can't blame photographers for being uninterested. Frankly, there's just not a lot of interesting products out there. Hopefully this changes. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.